Lilo is 68 years old. Sorry, is a 68 year old woman who works for Andiswa Traders. She is the CEO of the company and earns a salary of 37,480 per month. She contributes an amount of 2614.88 towards her pension every month. Refer to Annexure E. Now, Annexure E is pretty much just going to be your tax tables as well as on the next slide, you've got your rebates and your tax thresholds. Okay, so just remember that I couldn't fit that all onto one page. Um, oh, I could actually put those together. So there I've gone and put all of that together. So it's just your tax tables with your rebates. So we'll come, we'll go backwards and forwards between the questions and, and those. So it says, prove that her annual gross. Now when you say gross, that is always before any deductions. So they tell us that um, she earns a gross of 37,480 per month. So to work out what that would be per year, you're simply going to multiply that by 12. Multiply that by 12. And that'll give us um, 449,760. That is how much she earns per year. This question says, pension fund contributions are non-taxable. Determine her annual taxable income. Okay, so what they're saying is that this lady earns this amount of money, okay? But SARS, the people who do the taxes, they are not allowed to tax her on all of that. There are certain things that she is allowed to subtract from this number before SARS applies their taxes. And one of those things is a pension fund. The reason that they don't tax people on their pension fund is they are trying to encourage people to put money away for their pension fund. So let's say, for example, you earn 500,000 Rand per year. This is just an example. You earn 500,000 Rand per year, and every month you put away 1,000 Rand for your pension fund. That means in one year you will put away 12,000 Rand. So SARS, they're not going to tax you on this amount. They're going to tax you on 488,000 Rand, which is 500,000 minus 12,000. SARS will only tax you on that amount. And that means that you will pay less tax because you've got less amount or you've got a smaller amount that they are going to be able to tax you on. Because remember, if they apply the tax percentage to this number, it'll be more than if they apply the tax percentage to this number, because this is a larger number. So donate, not donating, but investing or putting money away for your pension fund is a good thing because it lowers your taxable income. Okay. I mean, of course we have to pay tax, but if you can legally pay less, then it helps. So what they're saying here, what is her taxable income? We know that this is her actual income, but how much of that can she be taxed by? So what we'll do is we'll just say um, every month, this is what she contributes. So we'll say 2614.88, and we'll multiply that by 12 to see what does she contribute to tax per year. And that'll end up being 31000 378 rand and 56 cents. So we're going to take this amount away from this amount. So we're going to say 449760 minus 31378.56. And if we work this out, we get 418381.56. Four, four. So that is her taxable income. That's what SARS can actually tax her on. There we go. This question says, use Annexure E. Now, this is an eight mark. So it says, use Annexure E, which shows the tax brackets and personal income tax contributions for 2022 and 2023. Did they say 2000? Yeah, okay, it is 2022 and 2023. And to determine how much tax Lilo paid monthly, in the 2022 tax year. Okay, so we pretty much for eight marks, we're gonna go work out the whole tax that she has to pay for 2022. So, okay, so we know that the amount of tax, taxable income is this number over here. So let's just go write that over here. So we're not gonna look at this table, we're looking at this one. So that's four, 
1-8-381-0-4-4. Okay, so if you look at that amount of taxable income, that'll put her into tax bracket number three, okay? So the amount, because that, that amount there is somewhere in between here. So let's go highlight that. So they tell us that the amount of taxes will be 70,532 Rand, so 70,532 Rand, plus, then it says 31% of all of the taxable income above 33780. So I'm gonna say plus 31% of, now how do I work out the amount above 33780. Well, all I do is I just take this number and I minus that number, and that'll tell us how much above she went above 337800. So we're going to go 418. Okay, I'm going to run out of space over there. Let's just do it over here. So 7532 plus 31% of. Now we're going to go 418381. Point four four minus three three seven eight hundred, and remember of means multiply, and then thirty one percent you can write that however you like. Um, it could be thirty one, and then you put the percent on your calculator. You could say thirty one over a hundred, or you could just say zero point three one. Any one of those three is fine. And so, if we go calculate this. We end up with 95,512.25 if we round off. But now remember, we get tax rebates where we need to just go find out how old this person was. I can't remember. Uh, is a, Oh, she's 68. So she actually qualifies for your primary and secondary rebate. Now, Sorry, not this number. Uh, we're looking over here at your tax rebates. So she's 20, it's in 2022. She will qualify for the primary. And then because she's in the 65 and older, she will also qualify for this one. And then if she, if she was 75 and older, she would qualify for this one, this one, and this one. So that's the way tax tables work. So what we'll do now is we are going to minus the tax rebates. Tax rebates are nice things. It means your taxes become less. And then we will also minus this one. And so her taxes will now be 71185.25. But I think they said monthly. Let's just see here. Use annexure, da 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 da, tax, determine how much Lilo pays monthly. Okay, so then we take that number, 71185.25, and we just divide that by 12 to get what she will pay per month. And that'll be 5,932 rand and 10 cents. That is what Lilo will pay uh, per for taxes per month. This question for four marks. So now we have a different person. Bongiwe is a business owner and she's 77 years old. Bongiwe earns a monthly gross income of 13,123.28. Lilo claims that Bongiwe paid tax in 2022 but is not supposed to make any contributions towards her personal tax in 2023. Show the calculations whether her statement is correct. Okay, so what we're pretty much going to go do is we're going to go see for the year 2023, what is Bongiwe's taxes going to be? And Lilo believes that her taxes will be zero. Some people pay zero tax because of something called tax threshold. Now let's go see if Bongiwe fits under that or let's see what happens. So if we look at Bongiwe, she earns a monthly of that amount. So we're going to convert that into a yearly quickly. So 13123.28. So 13123.28. 0.28. Let me just double check. 13, 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Okay. That's her monthly. So yearly or annually would be that times 12. So 13, 1, 2, 3.28 times 12. And that'll be, that'll be 1, 5, 7, 4, 7, 
0.36. So that will put her... Now, we don't have to go do the whole taxes. I mean, we can if you want to, and I can show you how amazing it actually is. Um, let me show you quickly. It's pretty cool. There's two ways you could do this right now. Um, you could look straight ahead and just go to the tax threshold, and you could look for 2023. And we know that Bongiwe is a 77-year-old. So if we go down to 75 and older, the threshold, what that means is the amount... If you are under the tax threshold, you don't pay tax. If you are over the tax threshold, you do pay tax. So have a look here. That is the tax threshold. So you have to earn more than that in a year to pay tax. But she earns less than that. So she doesn't pay any tax. She doesn't pay any uh, personal income tax. That's the one way you could have done this. You could have done it in a different way. You could have done it in a longer way. But maybe some of you are interested in how that works. So you would go to the 2023 tax year. You would see that Bongiwe fits into tax bracket number one because of her annual salary is or her annual income is there. So she will be taxed at 18%. So we're going to take 18% of 15 seven four seven nine point three six and that'll give us twenty eight thousand three hundred and forty six point two eight so that is how much tax she would have to pay but then we will go and apply rebates so here's the rebates for 2023 she's a primary she fits into the secondary and she's a tertiary so we will subtract all of those 16,425 minus 9,000 minus 2,997. And you actually end up getting a negative number. So she pays negative tax. What that means is that she pays zero tax. Does that mean SARS pays her money? No, unfortunately not. It just goes down to zero. So there's two different ways that I've showed you how you could do this. I think the easiest way is just to use this. But I know that a lot of learners would have also loved to see that way. Um, that it all works out actually. If you did work this out, sorry, I should have just given you here, negative 75 rand 72, meaning that she pays absolutely no tax because she's under the threshold. Okay, so we've done that question. Then this question, show with calculations how the fixed amount of 73726 where is that in tax brackets? Oh, 73726. Oh, okay. Show how that was calculated in 2023. Excellent. Let me show you. Okay, so all that you do is you look at the number that they want us to get, and then you just go to the previous tax bracket, which is this one, and then you just apply this formula, and you use the largest amount. That's how it works. You use the largest amount, because think about it, to go from tax bracket two to tax bracket number three, you need to be in the largest, um, you would have passed the largest amount. So as I said, use this tax bracket, use the largest amount, and use this formula, and you will get to that. Let me show you. So you're going to say 40,680, so 40,680 plus, then you're going to say 26% of the taxable income above 226,000. So you're gonna take this number minus this number so that you can see how much larger than this are you. So you're gonna say 353,100 minus 226,000. And then of means times. And then 26%, as I said, you can say 26% on the calculator. You could say 26 over 100, or you could just say 0 0.26. And if you work this out, guess what? You end up with 73726. There we go. So if you want to find out, let's say, for example, you wanted to find this number, then you would go to the previous tax bracket, and you would use this formula, and you would use it on the largest amount. Okay. Okay.